gang. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I am coming hot off of the red eye flight from LA. We just finished shooting all of our amazing July content, which is crazy. I feel like I'm in a time warp. So my voice is shot, but that does not diminish my excitement for what we're going to talk about today. If you haven't gotten it in your mailbox yet, if you haven't opened your email, guess what gang? It is April catalog time. We have so many fun pieces to run through. This is such a weird month. It's transition. It's hot some days. It's cold some days. You've got a lot of events that are starting to stack up on that calendar. We are ready for it for you. And I'm going to run through some of my absolute favorite pieces of the season of this month today. We're going to start with one of my favorite looks, some of the most versatile pieces we have, starting with this great little Avery top. This is from Avery in denim. Why I love it. It looks like it's got this like really cool vintage wash, but guess what? There is a ton, ton of stretch in this puppy, and it is in the absolute color of the season for denim, this sun bleached denim. I think really light blue makes everything feel really fresh for summer as we're looking forward a great little piece now there's lots of ways to wear this i love this paired back to an equally light wash denim example case in point is this great citizens of humanity you know this jean i wore it a few lives ago this is that dahlia baby roll we got it back in this really light wash color super fun pairing Gang, this is about the softest version of a barrel you can get out there. And goodness knows you've got a lot of thoughts about barrel denim. Here's my thought about it. The barrel denim can be so easy when you think of it more like a boyfriend fit. And it's just got a little bit of curve to it, a little bit of a relaxed silhouette. It is the jean I reach for on the weekends when I want something that feels easy peasy. So this little pairing in this really fun cut that just has a little bit of a relaxed leg is such a fun compliment. I wanted to elevate this top just a little bit and maybe just give it a little bit more of a dressed up feel. So I'm pairing it back to this great Ayla Jean from Citizens of Humanity in this beautiful neutral cream. So this is a fun kind of alternative to your white denim. White denim to me always feels crisp, fresh, and dressed up. This is just a little bit softer and a little bit more unexpected, and I find that I get so much, pun intended, legs out of my cream denim because they really go back to everything. And then pairing it back to a little flat form, such a fun shoe. So this is from Shoots, cork footbed, flat form sandal, really simple, easy one to kind of just slide on with anything. Looks great with dresses, looks great with a jean, looks great with shorts. I'm just wearing it here. Simple, simple, simple. So, so fun. Can you guys stand it? I feel like I'm like Katherine Hepburn with this voice. I mean, we're just going to go with it. We're going to rock it. It's such a fun top, you guys. Such a great little top. And what I also think would be really cute with this, like you could also throw a little jacket or a cardi on over this and treat it like a shell now and then wear it on its own later. Also would be so fun back to a great little utility pants. So this is that sanctuary reissue comes in a couple colors. I absolutely love the great green. This is a really fun one actually to roll up and cuff at the bottom. I also love it though, full length, which I know has been hard to find as of late. Definitely a full length moment happening in this utility pant. And you can wear it back to this little top in this green or in white. This has been one of my favorites. I think this pant runs a little bit generous, meant to be a little bit more relaxed. So I actually sized down a bit in this one. Okay. Let's talk about some of the fun trends that are happening this April. The first, and if you caught the front cover of our catalog or you open up our email, you know what this one is. It is all about neon. Now, what I think is kind of fun about this trend is that for most of us, we've lived this puppy, right? We did this. We remember neon. We remember these amazing highlighter colors. But guess what? It is all grown up. And here are some of my absolute favorite pieces, starting with this great little sweater tank from Every Eve. Here it is in this great natural. How chic would this be back to this fabulous jean? 
kind of a whole neutral story with just that hit of highlighter yellow. So fun, an easy way to kind of incorporate neon if you don't want to go full board. This is a little bit more bold and dare I say a little bit more sexy from Ellen A. Cutaway tank in this great neon stripe. Perfect for summer and if you got yourself a little bit of a spring break tan, rock it with this. We all know nothing looks better with neon than a spray tan. Okay, now here's like two more bold choices. This is our front cover piece and this guy is going fast, fast, fast. Why I love this. It's that perfect weight of a cross between a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. A little bit more relaxed, kind of like that Nora muscle tee that everyone was loving, loving, loving. Done in this gorgeous, gorgeous bright pink. Now, can you wear neon? Yes, everyone can wear neon. It's all about what you pair back to it to make it feel modern, fresh, and new. So be it in the silhouette, like this great little muscle, or in this really fun twist front kind of terry stripe sweatshirt. Love both of these for the weight, perfect for April, and really fun ways to do it. So again, pair this back to a great little utility bottom, wear it with a jean, or pair it even back to that fun powder blue. So many great ways to incorporate neon in. It's going fast, you guys, so grab this while you can. Okay, couple other really fun trends that we're really loving this season is oh, what should we talk about first okay let's talk about the vest especially for this month so when you're struggling in april to figure out what exactly to wear and you need that one kind of extra piece a vest is such a fabulous go-to and what's really great about what's happening with vests now is there's so many options so you can go a little bit more elevated you can go a little bit more casual or there's even a little comfortable twist that I've got to show you. So starting with that more elevated choice. So this is from Every, great stretch in white. Now, how I'm loving wearing this, wear it over a tee, wear it over a tank, or wear it on its own for kind of a sexy little night out. Now I'm wearing this for my three days. I popped this into my April capsule. You can see that this weekend, how I styled this a bunch of different ways. Why I love this, though, is that I'm getting a lot of use out of this silhouette because I can dress it up for work, I can wear it for a night out, or I can even make it a little bit more casual. So, how to make a cash gang? Grab yourself a great little t-shirt or a tank if you want a little bit more coverage. So, more casual way, Z Supply. There's so much going on right now with great, easy tees. This Z Supply V-neck tee is a dream. Why I love it? wider neckline, just enough coverage on the sleeve, a relaxed body but not too oversized so you don't feel like you're getting swallowed up in it, and it makes it really easy to layer. So I pop this vest, wear it open, over a great little v-neck tee. This is one you can stock up in, white, black, a stripe, really fun to pair back. I love the idea of actually wearing the stripe underneath that vest, how cute would that be? Really, really fun compliment. We're really letting these tees, we're calling them everyday icons, be kind of the star of the show, especially knowing that there's so much fun action going on in bottom. So take that great tee, layer it under this vest. You've got a great casual look or wear it on its own, buttoned up, kind of sexy, fun little night out. Katie, is that pink and on top true to size or does it run You know, it's meant to be a little bit more relaxed. Really good question. I actually tried this on, like debated wearing it so darn cute i actually ended up going down a size in it and still felt like it was relaxed and easy to wear and again that cap sleeve that muscle silhouette is so spot on for this season such a great detail i love that little ribbing but i do think it is just a little bit more relaxed so if you want something with a touch more shape i will go down a size otherwise true size if you're a little bit fuller in the bust i'd wear my true size in this Oh yeah, good question. This guy is the Alley Muscle Sweatshirt. Don't let the sweatshirt part fool you though, gang. It's not super heavy. So it's a really great transition piece. It's kind of that cross between a t-shirt and a sweatshirt, like a swirt, if you will. So not, not too heavy. And again, that short sleeve makes it so easy to wear. The Alley. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Here, let me pop this down for just a second so we can talk about how to style this. So, 
One of the ways I love to style this is with a more relaxed bottom. I think this is part of this whole proportion play we've been talking about all season, right? Is if you've got something a little more fitted on top, you can go a little bit more relaxed on bottom. Even what I'm wearing today is a great example. A little bit more shape, show some curve here, and then let my jeans be more relaxed. I love that same pairing here. Something with a little bit more shape. This really is so flattering and pairing it back to a jean that's a little bit more relaxed. Another great jean that I think would be knockout with this is, you got it, that cut Meg, and this is with the cuff. So if you're looking for a little bit of drama, you want a little bit of a darker wash, that cut Meg with cuff is so great. Lots of stretch in this one, gang. Really, really flattering. Best-selling silhouette from cut month after month after month and we just keep getting new iterations of it so i really love that pairing too i think that kind of horn button is a really fun detail now you could dress it up a little bit with that shoe that i have on or you could go more casual pair it back to a little burk here which would be really cute yes you can mix your neutrals so don't worry about wearing white with cream we're in a neutral cycle or we're in a big burst of color so either way to do it looks great, or I also love this idea. If you're looking for something with a more of a close toe or a little bit more coverage, this is where your fisherman sandal comes into play. This is such a fun one from Sam Edelman. I love this guy. I cannot believe we still have this in stock because it's such an easy shoe to wear right now when you're kind of in between, or you can have some fun and go with that fisherman from Dolce Vita, which has got that big lug sole in that cool silver a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun. Does that best have any stretch to it? It does, it does, which is why I love it. So some really, really, like actually quite a bit of stretch. So if you remember that great denim vest that we had last year, and then we had another version earlier this year, similar fit, you guys. So lots of stretch in this one and really, really comfortable, not too heavy. Other reason I love it. They're also wondering if you can wear that with shorts. For sure you can. Okay, do you want to know my favorite like dream outfit with this? Let's talk about it. Let's just get into it. These are such good questions. Oh yeah, baby. We're going to wear it with a longer denim short. So again, if you got our catalog, you might have seen this and you might have earmarked that page because this is a dream. This is from Cut Longer Denim Short. So for those of you who are craving something fresh and new in your short wardrobe, here we go. Here it is something a little bit longer, a little bit more leg coverage. Also, what I love about this is the juxtaposition of what feels like a more casual short back to something a little bit more elevated. Same rules apply for footwear. If you want to elevate it and have some fun, I would grab this great little platform. If you want to go a little bit more casual, this is where that burke can come into play or something neutral like the cork I have on right now. I adore, adore this short. It is such a great way to kind of put your toe into this longer denim short trend. It is not tight. It is meant to be a little bit more relaxed, so you're not gonna get that sausage casing leg. Thank you for that cut. Lots of stretch in this one. I find in cut shorts, I run true to size, my normal size in these versus when I wear cut denim, I usually go down a size, but in shorts, I like to wear my normal size. So this paired back here on its own, kind of a fun little unexpected night out, or you can go more casual again, layering this over a t-shirt or a tank. Such a good question, love it. Let's just stay on this for a hot second because I think this is such an important short of the season. So we know we love this. We like the destruction on this. You can dress it up and you can kind of elevate it. I'm gonna show you one more way to do that and I'm gonna show you a more casual way. Gotta bring this sweater out. So this is from John and Jen. This ladylike cardigan is a thing, gang, and you loved it, loved it, loved it when we brought it in a solid cream and a little bit of a stripe earlier this season. It sold to the piece. We've got this great new version back. It's navy and cream. I love this gold button detail. The secret to this is making sure you're styling in a way that it doesn't feel too sweet. This can go a little ladylike and a little prim and proper, but not when you mix it back to something a little more unexpected. So that's why I love it, love it, love it with a short like this. So a little bit unexpected, right? Get a little bit of a destruction. Now, you can either wear this buttoned up and kind of wear this as a solid 
sweater or you can treat it like a true cardigan and pop a little tank underneath so what i would grab for this my favorite 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 hands down is that great lna jones tank can't get enough of this guy double rib holds you in not too tight super flattering layer this underneath that great cardigan you've got a really chic look let it be open and then you've got your neutral shoe on so really really fun piece this is sure to fly out the door grab this puppy while you can it is a good one Ready for, people just joining? Can you yes. for sure so gang we're talking about just like we are definitely entering into that white light denim cycle season and there's so many ways to do it we know about white we love white right like that is like your go-to dress up i though am also in love with this ecru this is the ayla raw hem from citizens of humanity wearing my normal true to size in this one you can see the leg is a little bit more relaxed meant to have a little bit of that kind of eased feel to it and i love that raw hem it just gives it a slight touch of edge and also i think there's just something a little bit more i would say like mm, like less dressed up about this i think when you go white it feels really crisp and bright in spring I love a good ecru jean for this transitional time frame because I know that I can wear it all summer long. It looks great with white, but even into fall and dare I say, like kind of all winter long. Like looks so good with cream, looks so great with white, so easy to wear. And then this great little denim shirt from Every, which I love, love, love with tons and tons of stretch. Okay, so we were talking a little bit about that great vest and the really fun ways to elevate that menswear. There's so many other ways to do it especially on the more casual side of the spectrum. So wanted to throw out a couple of my favorites. This fabulous vest from Sanctuary in Utility. So Utility is still a big trend as we look at spring and going into summer. What I love about the vest is it's kind of this unexpected third piece layer. And that is something that we're gonna be talking about now all the way into fall season. Really kind of brings a finishing touch to almost any look and especially when you're leaning into some great tees and tanks. I also am a huge fan, and this is one of those sleeper styles because you cannot see how fabulous it is online, from Z Supply, a denim, and I'm gonna put that in quotes, vest, because guess what, gang? It's a knit. It feels like a Terry sweatshirt, but it has a great denim wash in both blue and black. This is a really fun one to wear on its own, buttoned up like a shirt, leave it open back to a t-shirt, a little bit more, I'd say, on the casual side. Both of these would be so fun with the Ecru, or I also love the idea of pairing this back to a great little utility pant would be so great, or this really fun utility skirt from Cloth and Stone. This is a great alternative if you are not a short scale, comfortable, easy, breezy, lots of stretch, and really relaxed. So, how I'd style this or how I'd style the sanctuary. We ran through that great Z Supply V-neck tee. We talked about our favorite Jones tank, which comes in so many great colors. This is your stock up item for summer. Grab this while you can. You will not regret having every color in this. But if you want something that has maybe like a little bit more of that kind of modern silhouette we're seeing in tees right now, which is just a little bit just a touch shorter and when I say that I don't mean cropped I just mean giving yourself some great definition around the waist and really really fun sleeve detail great new tee from every this is a fun pocket tee I love that it comes in colors so this Kelly green white and then coral would be a really fun compliment back to either one of these vest styles and then you just throw it on with a pair of jeans or utility bottom and you're done Okay, so we talked and I touched on for just a minute that we know that April is that sneak peek time of year as we start to look towards occasions. So many things on the calendar. May, summer is right around the corner when you've got a million things. And so why not start planning now and snag the best dresses for it while you can? A couple of my absolute favorites. Let's start with the Aster because dang it, this dress is good, you guys. If you haven't seen Mel wearing this, she modeled this for us and talked about the fit. She looks <laughs> chef's kiss in this. It is a home run dress because everybody looks fantastic when they slip this on. 
Why do we like it? Rib detailing skims the body, not tight. Tie detail gives you a waist where you need it. Really beautiful shape and so, so flattering. I love the trim detail on this. It also has a slit. Show off that leg, girls. And it's knit. So comfortable, not too hot, really easy to wear. Also comes in solids. I'm a huge sucker for this stripe, and I think it can be dressed up or dressed down so, so easy. Another fabulous dress, also a two-color winner, is this fun dress from Sundry. Now, what I love about this, it's a knit, but two different knits. So you've got a rib on top and a solid jersey. And um, did I mention that this dress has pockets? Why do we all love a good dress with pockets? I don't know what it is. We just kind of want to wear our pockets with our dress right. So it comes in this beautiful Kelly green, as well as a great coral. Uh, this too, dress up, dress down, so easy. I'm envisioning wearing this with a Burke and a great baseball hat, and I am like running out the door any given Saturday to get it all done. So really fun, brand new hat from Claire V. This trucker silhouette is absolutely a thing and a really easy accessory to kind of make a look more intentional while hiding our third day hair, for sure. So really, really fun one here. And then I had to let you know, these aren't even online yet, so you gotta run in a store. They'll be online by tomorrow, but we just got a brand new shipment of 47 hats in New York. To, I mean, this ecru is to die for. I love the black, and then I am gaga over this royal blue. So fun. Don't you love it when there is a trend that is both practical and fashionable? This is it. Love these hats. They're so, so comfy. So, so great from 47. Get yours while you can. They'll be online again by tomorrow, but snag one in store if you happen to be out and about today. That white stripe dress, Heidi, yes. does run true to size. It does run true to size. So I slipped this on in my true size small. I felt really comfortable in it. I think this is a really easy one to zip online and pop into your cart and get it to your door in just a few days you will not regret this purchase this is one of those workhorse dresses you're going to have in your closet looks great with the burke looks great a little bit more elevated even throw a little denim jacket over it i just love this one because of the versatility of it they were also wondering about the length of it yeah i mean it's definitely intended to be more of a maxi length now remember gang i'm five four when you see it on mel you'll see grace is above her ankle for sure she's definitely taller than me um but it is not a midi so it's a full length which is why i especially love that slit it really shows some great leg and helps balance out that amount of skin just so you don't feel so covered up and brand of reef yep yep exclusively ours now if you're looking for a little pop of color and you're not totally sure about neon quite yet i've got two really fun options for you first and foremost is this fabulous dress from emerson fry now you know they make the most stunning prints and is there anything easier than a breezy dress as the temperature starts to turn to me this dress just screams take me away so maybe you have a little getaway plan this month or a girls get together or you've got some showers on the calendar this is a really fun one i love that it's got some saturation in the blues and the yellows and the greens but grounded in that gorgeous coral brings a little energy and pop to your closet. If you're thinking you love color, but you wanna do it in a different way, well, guess what? We've got this really fun color just came in from Cut From The Cloth. This is that Meg again in a really saturated, beautiful red, almost a little bit washed down gang. So I kinda of call it that Nantucket red where it looks like it's just been baked in the sun, but it still has a ton of pigment to it really really fun and it's in that best-selling silhouette just back in a new color so get your closet stocked up right now before this guy goes away okay april is here so much fun from neons to great third layer pieces like the vest that are going to keep you current you've got to get stocked up on those everyday icons from tees to tanks fabulous denim Everybody needs a dress, and don't forget about that ladylike cardigan because it's a fun one to have. And gang, Burks are here, and they are flying out the shelves fast. So make sure you snag yours 
before it's too late. I hope everyone has a fabulous start to the month, and we will see you soon. Thanks for hanging in there with my voice. I promise it'll be back next week. 